आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन दैट ऑफ थ्री इंडिपेंडेंट इवेंट्स द चांस दैट ओनली द फर्स्ट वन ऑकर्स इज ए द चांस दैट ओनली सेकंड वन ऑकर्स इज बी एंड द थर्ड वन ऑकर इज सी वी नीड टू शो दैट द चांसेस ऑफ थ्री इवेंट्स आर रेस्पेक्टिवली ए बाय ए प्लस एक्स बी बाय बी प्लस एक्स एंड सी बाय सी प्लस एक्स वेर एक्स इज द रूट ऑफ द इक्वेशन ए प्लस एक्स इंटू बी प्लस एक्स इंटू सी प्लस एक्स इक्वल्स टू एक्स स्क्वायर सो लेट एस डिनोट दो थ्री इवेंट्स एज ई वन ई टू एंड ई थ्री सो ई वन ई टू एंड ई थ्री आर आवर रिक्वायर्ड इंडिपेंडेंट इवेंट्स नाउ इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन दैट द चांस दैट ओनली फर्स्ट वन ऑकर्स दैट इज प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट ई वन ऑकर्स बट ई टू एंड ई थ्री डज नॉट ऑकर दैट इज ई टू कॉम्प्लीमेंट एंड ई थ्री कॉम्प्लीमेंट इज इक्वल्स टू ए Now, since events e1, e2, and e3 are independent, we can write this as probability of e1 into probability of e2 complement into probability of e3 complement. This is equals to a. Let us denote it as equation one. Also, in the question, it is given that the chance that only the second one occurs is b. That is probability of e1 complement intersection e2. intersection e3 complement is equals to b so similarly we can say that since e1 e2 and e3 are independent events this will be equals to probability of e1 complement into probability of e2 into probability of e3 complement this is equals to b and let us denote it as equation number 2 again the chance that the only the third one occurs is given as c so this will be equals to probability of e1 complement intersection e2 complement intersection e3 is given as c so again since e1 e2 and e3 are independent event it will be equals to probability of e1 complement into probability of e2 complement into probability of e3 and this is equals to c let us denote it as equation number 3 now let us suppose that probability of e1 complement into probability of e2 complement into probability of e3 complement b equals to x so let us denote it as equation 4 now let us divide equation 1 with equation 4 when we do so probability of e3 complement will get cancelled out and probability of e2 complement will also get cancelled out and we will be left with probability of e1 by probability of e1 complement which will be equals to a by x now let us simplify it further so probab this can be written as probability of e1 by probability of e1 complement can be written as 1 minus probability of e1 this is equals to a by x now let us cross multiply so x into probability of e1 is equals to a minus a into probability of e1 so let us take this on the left hand side and let us take probability of e1 common so this will be equals to a plus x equals to a that is we got the probability of e1 as equals to a by a plus x similarly by dividing equation 2 with equation 4 we will get the probability of e2 as b by b plus x and similarly by dividing equation 3 with equation 4 we will get the probability of e3 as c by c plus x so we have proved the first part that is we have proved that the chances of the three events are respectively a by a plus x b by b plus x and c by c plus x now let us multiply equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 so after multiplying equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 we will get probability of e1 into probability of e2 into probability of e3 i am writing directly the multiplication into 
probability of e1 complement into probability of e2 complement into probability of e3 complement we will have these terms two times and on the right hand side we will have a b and c now we have got these values they are equals to a by a plus x b by b plus x and c by c plus x respectively and the value of this is equals to x so after putting these values we will get a b c divided by a plus x into b plus x into c plus x and putting the value of this we will get x square and on the right hand side we have a b and c b c so this a b c will get cancelled out and we got the value of x square as a plus x b plus x c plus x thus we can say that we can solve this equation to get the value of x or we can say that x is the root of this equation and this is what we needed to prove in the second part of the question. So, this question is proved. Class 6 to 12 चलेके NEET IIT JE means और advanced के level तक 10 मिलियन से ज़्यादा students का भरोसा आज ही download करें doubt net आप या WhatsApp कीजिए अपने doubts 8400-400-400 पर